There is a massive disconnect in the building management system industry with regard to what is an open system. When I used to run training courses for building owners, facility managers, you know, mechanical consultants, I always asked them that question, what is an open system? And when I did training courses for you know, BMS companies, I like to ask them the exact same question because it's very interesting that the two answers are completely different. And the result of this confusion is that the customer, the building owner, asks for an open system, the mechanical consultant specifies an open system, and the BMS company provides an open system. However, the building owner is left with a BMS system that can only be maintained by that one company that installed the BMS. And the reason why is that the definition of what is an open system is different depending on who you ask. Let's get into it. It took me eight goes to get that right, and I'm wondering if this is the reason why. Could be. I'm gonna pause for a minute, open the front door, open the window, get some fresh air in here. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Let me tell you the answers to those two questions. Um, the BMS engineer almost always says this. They'll say, an open system is a BMS system that communicates with the open BACnet protocol. So any controller from any company, they can coexist on the same subnetwork and communicate with each other. So if you have a building with 200 controllers in and you know company A, you know, that controller fails, you can take it out and go and get a controller from company B or C and put it in there. It'll all work, they can communicate with each other. You could have the chiller management system by one BMS company, all the AHUs by a different BMS company, half the floors by one company, the other half the floors with another company. All those controllers, hundreds of them, can communicate with each other because they all communicate with the BACnet open protocol. However, the building owner, when you ask them, they will always say to you, we want an open system to be a system where multiple different companies can maintain that BMS system. So if they're unhappy with company A, they're not performing well, they have the option to go out to tender and choose another company to come over and take over BMS maintenance for their whole building. So that's what an owner wants. They want the option to use different BMS companies to maintain the BMS. Those two answers are both correct, but completely opposite, because the BACnet open protocol, which allows controllers to talk to each other, it has nothing to do with the openness of the building being maintained by different companies. It's got nothing to do with that. Let me explain to you why. Just because the controllers can communicate with each other, um, the engineering tools that are on the laptop that the engineer uses to configure the system those engineering tools are almost always proprietary. Just because this controller can go into that building and can communicate, you still need the other technician from building A with their laptop to do the configuration changes to allow it to work. They might have to like redo the database and bits and pieces of things, you know, share points with that controller. But the bottom line is that just because the controllers can communicate, you still need both companies, engineers with their laptops with the proprietary engineering tools for it all to work. Let me just pause for a second here because I can just see a lot of you are just about to go put comments um, in the description below, which says that, yeah, but look, Bryce, our BMS system, our open system, the engineering tools are freely available on the internet. You just, you just download them, the tools are all free. That is fantastic and appreciated, however, it doesn't help us. Just because this tool is available, it doesn't mean that a different BMS company that doesn't know that product, they're not gonna download the tools and spend weeks and weeks and months training their engineers on how to use this free engineering tool and then buy controllers and, and test them out in their office and, and go through a long learning curve of knowing how to use this. They're not gonna do that, it's just it's not practical. So although it's a big tick in the box that some companies, few of them, the engineering tools are freely available, 
it doesn't actually help us in the long run because these three other companies, if they don't know that product, they're not gonna invest the time and money to learn that product. So the BACnet protocol, great, has nothing to do with who can maintain your BMS system. And just keep in mind that all of those proprietary BMS systems and that the companies that we're all trying to avoid, all those systems are BACnet. Now there was a time maybe early 2000s, 2005, where you know, some of BMS companies were still installing their proprietary communication protocols. Some had really like, you know, moved forward and had adopted BACnet. There was that sort of gray area where we actually had to specify BACnet and make sure that it actually was deployed. But those days are over. Nowadays, easily the last 10 years, every single BMS system, at least in the countries that I know about, BACnet's the main protocol. People aren't even developing proprietary protocols. So what is the call to action here? If you're a building owner or a facility manager and you are reading a BMS company's fee proposal and they're driving hard that this is a, a BACnet open protocol system, they're, they're pushing that hard, do not for a second think that those words mean their system can be maintained by multiple companies. It's almost a bit of a play on words. I find it a bit annoying because I read this sometimes, I'm thinking, um, you're the only company in the state of Victoria, where I live, that supports this product, completely proprietary, nobody else can do anything with this. Yeah, it's BACnet, and you know, it's sort of like, it's a, it's a, tru it's a truthful statement, right? It's correct, so it's not a lie, but they're playing on the words to make building owners think that the BACnet open protocol means that BMS can be maintained by multiple companies, and it can't. Please see in the description below, I am continually changing the different types of services that I provide to the BMS industry. Sometimes I do lots of consulting work, sometimes more training. For example, right now, I'm just building up a whole suite of digital products that I think would be very useful to BMS companies, mechanical consultants, building owners. So check it out. You might find something useful down there. Thank you for watching. I will see you in part two.